Salvage has very quickly become a favoured game loop of many a citizen, and it's easy to see why. Whether it's because it's a power wash simulator that's set in space, or that it offers a host of interesting and engaging ways to encourage multi-ship and multi-crew gameplay, or the fact that it can earn you a sizable chunk of change for, let's face it, a rather easy task. Feel free to take your pick. And it's only just the beginning. With component and ship weaponry salvage slated to hit the PU with 3.19, salvage will become a staple for many citizens, not just those that have the Vulture pledged or even the monolithic Reclaimer. But when ship munching, another aspect of ship salvage yet to reach our eager playtesting hands, finally makes its debut, the industrialist world of recycling and repurposing of old and abandoned vessels might just be the king of game loops for Star Citizen. But I'm getting ahead of myself. As it stands in 3.18.2, besides the wreckage of downed vessels, the major source of hulls to scrape in Stanton are these panel clusters or large ship hulls found at Lagrange points and in the Aran Halo, for those with the patience or ever-present luck to find them. Well, there are others. Citizens, my name's Beard of Oz, and today I'll be talking about Easy Salvage, the best, fastest, and most efficient way that I've been scraping hulls of late. Before I dive in, I just wanted to say thank you. I've been having a blast streaming on Twitch and posting what I hope are helpful or entertaining shorts on YouTube, and the community engagement has been amazing. So if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you'll be notified when my videos go live. If you'd like to further support my content, click the join button below this video. I have memberships available for just $1. I'd like to give a special shout out to Christopher and Darker Shadow NZ for being the most recent to hit that join button. I'll also put a link to my Twitch channel in the description below. All right, let's dive in. If you've been involved in the hull scraping game of late, you'll know that salvage isn't overly difficult to find, but rather an expectation had developed in the community of how frequently it would be found, as during the PTU cycles, the density of the panel clusters and larger shipwrecks was increased to allow for more testing. And while we all knew deep down in our hearts that the sweet, sweet scrapable gold would be a little more scarce in the PU, four months of a thing will build a subconscious expectation that it will always be there. Such is the way of things. And with a recent issue to do with the scanning of salvage at a distance, it was the belief of some players that salvage was broken, which wasn't true at all, you just had to look a little closer. Now for those of you familiar with my channel, you'll know that I like to find the easiest or the fastest way to make an honest credit. And if I can get the easiest and the fastest, well, that's a good day. This method, sadly, does require a salvage vessel, either the Vulture or the Reclaimer, so if you don't have either of these ships, share this video with a friend that does and ask to help them make some easy salvage. Essentially, this method boils down to having the ships handed to you instead of looking for them. Think of this as having salvage missions before salvage missions have been added to the PU. The first and most well-known one is the Urgent Boarding Action Missions. These are offered by Northrock Security in the Mercenary Missions tab, available only in Art Corp and Microtech. The mission offers 45,000 credits and change for eliminating pirates aboard. On approach to the 890, there is a possibility two hostile ships will appear. You can destroy them or lure them away from the 890, about 20 kilometers or so, and then quantum back to the yacht. Once you've cleared the ship, make your way to the bridge located here. If the captain's chair doesn't allow you to sit, the co-pilot's chair will. Power down the ship so that the shields no longer prevent your scraper beams from claiming their prize and get to scraping. The next are, ironically, Reclaimers. In Microtech and Art Corp, there are missions available to complete some task at a lost Reclaimer. Each is named something different, has a slightly different mission contained within, and a different payout. The first is in Art Corp and it's called Failed Negotiations. You'll be tasked with finding the Pride of Arlis. The mission pays 24,000 credits and has no combat involved. Without spoiling too much, because the story is probably the most interesting out of the two, you need to discover the fate of the crew and transmit your findings to the mission giver. But not before you head to the bridge, drop the shields, and you guessed it, scrape that sweet, sweet, valuable hull. The next in Microtech is called Seize the Data and has you looking for the Black Kite. This mission pays 50,000 credits and does involve combat, so come prepared. You'll need to collect this decryption key and upload it into the laptop in the salvage hold. The next part of the mission is to destroy the ship. As with before, head to the bridge, drop the shields, and then scrape, scrape, scrape. 
Once you've taken all you can, pull back at a safe distance and unleash devastation upon the naked reclaimer. Now I can hear some of you saying, what about Crusader Beard? What about Breach and Steel Beard? What about the October Rising Beard? And in truth, sure, this ship is also an option. However, a few points here. The mission itself states that you need to drop the comma ray in order to complete the mission without a crime stat. At the moment, that's not entirely true as the security posted around and in the ship are not inherently hostile. You can go in, collect the medical samples with the mission giver requests and get out without any combat. However, there are some issues currently. At the time of recording, this mission does not always complete when you drop off the box of medical supplies. On my main account, after placing on the shelf, the mission didn't complete. Yet, several times on my alt account, it did. The other issue is that as part of the mission, the bridge is blocked and the scanning and mining controls in this room do not allow you to drop the shields. To do this, you'd need to attack the October Rising directly, which, for science, of course, I did. Now this is when the security forces become hostile. Should the comma ray be down, you can dispatch these enemies, soft death the reclaimer and scrape away. The main reason I don't suggest it is that there are too many variables at play that make this not inherently an easy salvage. And you know how I feel about that. Currently, the best place to sell the RMC is the trade development divisions. They pay full price and take vast amounts. However, the selling of RMC you didn't scrape with your ship isn't supported by the TDDs, so no questions asked terminals are the next best thing. The scrapyards are the most well known of these but come with their own risks now that physicalized cargo has allowed piracy and bushwhacking to pay dividends. So places like Grim Hex, though still somewhat risky, or better yet, CRUL5 with its terminal here in this area under maintenance might be the safer route. Keep in mind however that these two terminals will purchase less overall than the junkyards, so if you've got a sizable haul you may only be able to offload a fraction of it. And there you have it, the easy salvage method to cut down on the search time and have you paid to do the finding. Do you have any other tips or tricks to help your fellow scrapers out? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate you letting me know by hitting that like button. And if you aren't already subscribed, consider doing so now and hit the bell icon to be notified when my videos go live. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I also stream on Twitch, I'll leave the link in the description and the memberships for the YouTube are available with badges and emotes, all for the low low price point of $1. Be sure to check out one of these videos here, YouTube seems to think that you might like it, and as always citizens, stay safe in the verse, and I'll catch you all next time.